Good morning, Marathon. Today is Thursday, November 16th, 2023. Today is the Great American Smokeout, in which Americans are encouraged to quit vaping and smoking. Stay tuned for a brief video from Champions for Change directly after this, the announcements. I'm McKenna. And I'm Carly. And you're, and you're watching, watching DNN. DNN. The class of 2026 is selling Thanksgiving cookies, which will be delivered on Friday during for fourth period. Cookies are three for five dollars, and you can add a message for that special someone or just eat them yourself. You can pay at lunch or see Miss Townsend, Mr. Shard, or a class officer. Students with zero referrals during the month of November will be invited to attend the Turkey Bowl. On November 17th, be sure to keep yourself in check so you do not miss the fun. If you would like to pre-order a yearbook or purchase a senior page, go to yearbookordercenter.com. Our school code is 10740. That's all the news we have for you today, Fins. I'm McKenna. And I'm Carly. And, and you're, you're watching DNN. DNN. People have been smoking for at least 7,000 years, but it wasn't until the 1800s that cigarettes became the smoke of choice, after machines were developed to mass produce them. 200 years later, in 2003, the electronic cigarette was invented in China, and since then the use of e-cigarettes, also called vaping, has grown exponentially around the world. E-cigarettes are electronic devices that vaporize a flavored liquid. They all used to look like cigarettes, but now they come in many shapes and sizes. Many look like pens or small boxes called mods. What they all have in common is, one, a power source, usually a lithium battery. Two, an atomizer, which heats the e-liquid. Three, e-liquid or e-juice, which usually contains flavors of nicotine. And four, a cartridge or tank, which is filled with e-liquid. Heating the e-liquid creates a cloud of vapor that looks like smoke, but without a lot of the lethal components contained in tobacco smoke. Many people assume e-cigarettes are safer than traditional cigarettes because they don't burn anything or create tar in your lungs. But it took almost 7,000 years for humans to realize that tobacco causes lung cancer, throat and mouth cancer, causes heart attacks and strokes, and damages the lungs. E-cigs, meanwhile, have only been around a little over a decade, so there just hasn't been enough time to figure out what effects they'll have on your body. We do know that e-cigarettes deliver nicotine, just like the traditional cigarettes, causing increased heart rate and blood pressure. Nicotine also has powerful effects on the brain. It releases rewarding neurotransmitters in the brain, like dopamine, and changes brain chemistry. It is a stimulant, making people feel more alert, but when it goes away, people crave it even more. It can interfere with the body's own natural ability to make dopamine, and soon the user needs nicotine just to feel normal. The developing brain of teenagers is the most vulnerable to these effects. The powerful addictive nature of nicotine is so high that it's comparable to heroin and cocaine. Besides nicotine, e-cigarettes contain chemical solvents. When heated very high by some of the new e-cigarette devices, these solvents can be transformed into formaldehyde, which is a carcinogen. It causes cancer. These observations are concerning, but we really do not know what the long-term effects from inhaling these chemicals in your lungs will be. E-cigs contain many other chemicals to generate enticing flavors. In fact, there are almost 8,000 different flavors available today, so we don't know very much about many of them. We do know that some of the butter flavorings contain diacetyl, which is famous for causing popcorn lung. Popcorn lung is a disease called bronchiolitis obliterans, which is basically an irreversible reversible scarring and destruction of the delicate lung tissue that can kill you. Strawberry and other healthy sounding fruit flavors have been found to be cytotoxic and potentially cancer causing as well. Vaping devices, or specifically the lithium batteries inside them, may explode unpredictably. Although uncommon, this happens frequently enough that e-cigarettes have been banned from luggage on airplanes. Unpredictable explosions have occurred in people's faces and mouths and resulted in serious injuries, including blindness. With these potential risks of e-cigarettes, the addictive nicotine, the exploding batteries, the carcinogenic liquids. Why would any company want you to use them? Sales of e-cigarettes approach $8 billion per year and are increasing. The truth is tobacco cigarettes kill about 50% of people who use them. So tobacco companies, known as Big Tobacco, need to keep recruiting young people to become addicted in order to stay in business. Here are some actual documented quotes from tobacco executives. We don't smoke that sh we just sell it. We reserve the right to smoke for the young, the poor, and the stupid. The base of our business is the high school student. The fragile self-image of the young person needs all the support it can get. Smoking may appear to enhance that self-image. 
Studies show that when people start to smoke in their teens, they become addicted and stay smokers as they grow older, even those who swear they will never become mm. addicted. Many of the same strategies that Big Tobacco used to hook your grandparents into smoking tobacco cigarettes have simply been modified and are being used today with an e-cig in place of a tobacco cig. E-cigarettes come in candy and dessert flavors like Skittles, gummy bears, and vanilla cupcake, directly aimed at teens. Ads always show thin, beautiful people vaping. Even the strategic use of humor is being successfully used to get customers on their side. The bottom line is that we are all faced with important personal choices every day. We don't yet know everything we need to know to make informed decisions about many things, but we can resist being manipulated. Take your time when making your own personal decisions. It can make all the difference.